Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 51 on Password Encryption. And, of course, one of the biggest problems that database programmers make is when they uh, create their databases and they create their passwords, they actually put text passwords in for their passwords, the actual passwords that the users enter. And that's a big security issue. What you want to do is hash them or encrypt them. And we're going to talk about what that means. But first of all, let's go to our database we've been working with, and let's put a user table in there so we can actually uh, add some passwords. So let's go to PHP My Admin, and I'm going to click on Storyboard, for example, and I just want to create a users table, so I just go Users, and I'm going to have four fields. And the first field is going to be my ID, and uh, it's going to be an integer of 11, and of course I want that to be the primary key, of course, and we'll just go uh, make it the primary key with auto-incrementation. I'm just going to let the second field be my username, and we'll set that to bar car, and we'll make that 60. And the next one will be the password, and we'll set that to bar care, and we could let that go up to 255 if we needed it. And finally, we'll just basically put a position number in here in case we just use one password and want to change the position or have multiple passwords for a single user. We want to move them around for some reason, you know, just whatever might occur. We'll just put a position number in there, and we're done. So hit go, or save, and you've created your user's table. Isn't that fantastic? Now, there's no information in there. You want to put some in there. And let me go ahead and show you a table that I've already been working with and what I mean by encrypting passwords. So one of the problems that people do when they uh, make these tables is they use text passwords. You don't want to do that. So let's go to another table. Here's the example we've been working with, storyboard example. And if I go to my user's table, there's the information right there. You can see the passwords are actually encrypted. And this is exactly what you want to do. Now, how does a user compare uh, his or her password with the encrypted password? Well, you don't unencrypt it and compare text to text. What you actually do is when the user enters their password, then you encrypt that password with your encryption scheme and then you compare it with what's encrypted in the database. So as opposed to comparing text to text, just keep in mind when you run the scheme you'll be comparing encrypted to encrypted. Now this particular password encryption scheme did use the MD5 uh, password encryption which is very popular but which is no longer secure. So as a database manager make sure you continue reading the literature and watching what's been hacked and so don't use MD5 as it did here but uh, I'll be talking about these encryption schemes as we move on. So let's go back to the notes. So you have your users table created, and uh, once again, a note about uh, security MD5, and now uh, SHA-1 is not as secure as it once was. So as computers get faster, encryption uh, and sense schemes uh, also get faster, where they're creating millions of instance password uh, comparisons a, a second, and they're comparing very rapidly. Now you're going, well, isn't my database uh, secure? No. So make sure that you're encrypting uh, those passwords so people can access those password names, okay? Another note here, uh, MySQL actually has a built-in encryption mode, and this is how you use it. For example, here's an insert into username, the hash values, and I'm using the SHA-1 right in the encryption and creating a MySQL password. Don't use that. Uh, that's not as safe as uh, other methods, and what you're going to find, too, is PHP just uh, provides you with so much more flexibility when it comes to creating password encryption schemes, and we'll be getting into a number of those. Now, how do I know... Uh, what those password encryption schemes are. So let's go to PHP uh, Eclipse and I'm going to show you how to generate all the possible password schemes uh, that you can use in PHP. So we're now in PHP uh, Eclipse and I want to show you how to generate all the possible password schemes and it's very simple. Just go print R on the hash algos and that's going to give you all the uh, encryption uh, possibilities in PHP. Let's go ahead and run that. And you can see that's really just a huge list of possible algorithms. And you see MD2 don't use that. MD4, MD5 are not really secure anymore. MD uh, SHA-1 is not as secure as it was. So go to a SHA-224 or a SHA-256, for example. Uh, and as you move on, you see there's just tons of different encryption schemes. Some meaning like 512 en encryption, some 128-bit encryption, and so forth. So uh, how do I find out what all these mean? Pretty much just, you know, just choose one that you're interested in and go find the documentation on that in the web and you can find all about that encryption scheme. This really is not a lesson about how to encrypt or which is the best encryption scheme, but basically I'll talk about some you shouldn't use. And uh, I would feel more secure with definitely uh, SHA-1 than MD5 and then uh, 
uh, I'm going to go look up some of these others and find out if they're uh, uh, good or not. Now, the thing about it is there's not real good documentation on some of these, so you're not really sure until you use them. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it really has to do with volume. So the longer they are and the more complex the algorithms, of course, the more safe they are going to be. Uh, so that's just pretty much of an introduction. Now let's go back to the notes. So as I said earlier, what you're going to do is you're not going to compare text to text. So you're not going to go like unencrypt what's in your database to so compare an entered uh, username or password with another text password. What you're going to do is actually encrypt what the uh, your uh, user is putting in there and then compare the encrypted that's been inputted by the user uh, with the password that's in the database. So what is a hash? Uh, that's a pretty good uh, um, concept. Well, you know, this all got popular in World War II with the Germans. Now, there was encryption way before that, but uh, the Germans really mastered the encryption process. And we had actually broke their encryption code, so that's why we were able to actually uh, know when they were coming and what they were doing. So uh, we actually had what we called code talkers, which is extremely difficult because there were Navajo Indians that uh, actually we were encrypting the Navajo, which was a very difficult li language uh, for many people. So um, those code talkers actually uh, enabled us to create a huge encryption scheme. So the whole idea of encryption, you know, is very rich. It's actually illegal to sell encryption uh, over the web. Uh, the government has outlawed that. So be, so be careful if you create this a really cool encryption scheme that no one can crack and you try to sell it over the web, you might get yourself into a little bit of trouble. Uh, just like I said, once again, there's tons of algorithms, and PHP allows you a lot of flexibility. Here they're actually listed, so you're actually human-readable. <laughs> I printed them out in Calypso, and they're all bundled together, but uh, this, just you see there's a huge number of encryption schemes here. And so let's go ahead and just start playing around some of these encryption schemes and show you how you can actually start encrypting and, and printing this out. So go back to PHP Eclipse and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and comment this out, and let's uncomment this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to generate some encryption. It's just really, really easy to do. I'm going to start with MD5. Now, basically, there's an algorithm, and it's called just hash and whatever the algorithm name is, and then the string you want to encrypt. In this particular case, I'm just going to go, okay, let hash, that's going to just give the encryption. Let it be an MD5, and I'm going to encrypt Mike doesn't want you to know this. Now, you can do the same thing just by going MD5 and putting what you want to encrypt in parentheses. So it's the same process. And we'll do the same thing with SHA-1. We'll go ahead and encrypt that so you see the difference. But then let's go ahead and do a hash on HVA2563. Uh, so that was one of the last uh, schemes we actually saw in our long list there. And let's see the difference between those encryption modes. So we're we'll going to run this program. And you can see your MD5 is right here. And then you actually just by using the hash keyword. And then here's MD5 is using it in parentheses. So we saw those two. Here's the difference between MD5 and hash. You can see it's a little bit longer, but actually encryption is a little bit more complex, so it's more difficult to crack. And finally, you see uh, the uh, hash 256-5. Uh, and you can see it's a lot longer encryption, most likely much more difficult to break. So uh, that's how easy it is to create an encryption. And what we're going to talk about next time is salting your uh, password. So you actually even make it more difficult for uh, dictionary creators to to hack. So uh, what did we accomplish uh, during this particular uh, series? So during this uh, video we learned how to print out all the possible algorithms there are in PHP. We talked about how to simply create a hash password and basically how to uh, create more complex hash passwords. Also we talked about some of the do's and don'ts uh, in this whole process. And so basically as an administrator you do not want to uh, put text names in for your database passwords, but you actually want to encrypt them or hash them. And uh, you don't want to use MB5 anymore, and most likely not SHA-1, and go to a more complex encryption scheme. But next time we're actually learn how to do something called salting to make your uh, encryption much more powerful. So I'll see you next time. This is Mike Lively. Thanks for listening.